Hi, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you are well. And this is a general reading for any sun, moon, or rising Sagittarius sign. We can take a look at the cards, get a sense of the messages, energies, and information for you to navigate the month. So let's go ahead and get started with your reading. Okay, so we have Temperance, the Major Arcana. We have the Six of Cups. And we have the Two of Cups. So with Temperance, we see the woman here blending and putting things within the big pot. And it is a matter of blending or finding the right mixture or balance of elements and... The elements are all the things that make up your life, really, of your uh, physical self, your emotional self, your spiritual side and intellectual side, and how to make them all fit into harmony so that you pay attention to all of the aspects within your life to, to stay in balance. Temperance is about taking the middle ground, the middle road, not going to extremes and really not taxing the system. So we're looking for some sense of peace. We're looking for healing to a certain extent with temperance, but it is the, um, the checking in with self and that to, you know, to make sure to ensure that you are pretty much able to find a better balance. So it really is about doing the things that are going to help you get in balance. And for some, that may be focusing on your yoga practice. Others, it may be getting more sleep. For some, it may be their nutrition. But all of these aspects make us who we are and lead us to our higher self. And so temperance is to find the middle ground, to allow yourself to heal, to trust the universe and your spirit guides and the angels to help lead you or to guide you. So Saturday is a day of finding balance and finding just the right mixture of your personal energy. And then we have the six of cups. And with this six of cups, you really get a sense here of the children and very literally is that many of you may have plans with your kids. You may have uh, games to watch for them, or maybe you're picking them up from summer camp or taking them out to buy school supplies. So for some of you, it may be a weekend revolving around children. But the Six of Cups is a card of, um, uh, it's a card of kindness, and it's a card of gentleness and to be loving and giving to each other. And you see there's such a peaceful quality to this illustration. The flowers are in the cups, and we think of when we're children and, and the simple happy moments. And so that's what we capture from the Six of Cups. And the Six of Cups for many is a sense of nostalgia, revisiting memories, happy memories, or times spent with certain people. And so whether or not you're meeting up with someone from your past or driving past the old um, you know, high school or place that you lived, there could be an element of nostalgia, of going down memory lane. And as I would always say, it's wonderful to visit memory lane. It's wonderful to reflect and to think about the good times that have passed but you can't park your car there. You really need to, to be think, thinking about where you're headed, where you are right now, and where you're going to go. You can use the past and nostalgia as an inspirational point of how certain feelings uh, felt to you and, and what was it that made them so special and how do you recapture them. And then we have the Two of Cups, and so the Two of Cups is wonderful. 
because here we have the potential for meeting a soulmate, for meeting someone who is significant within our life uh, from an emotional perspective, from a loving perspective. And so whether you have this person already and you are building more intimacy, you're really getting to know each other, you are traveling, you're just uh, building that connection that, uh, you know, that's, it's a remarkable thing to meet someone that you feel so drawn toward. And if you're single and if you're looking and if you are meeting people, you know, you just have that sense that, wow, this is so enjoyable to be with this person and I need to spend more time with them. And so here's the possibility with the two of cups, there's harmony, there's equality, there's respect. It's the ultimate in relationships. And so, uh, the two of cups is, is the possibility of a deep love connection. And for some, the love may be extended through friendship. It may be extended through a very, very closely bonded, uh, friendship or relationship that way. It doesn't always have to be intimate, but it often is romantic and passionate. And what I really like in this illustration is the eye to eye contact, the, the directness, the focus of the comfort that comfort that you feel when you look at someone right in their eyes and they're looking right back at you. And it's, you know, it's just right. So this is, I think a really lovely spread for Saturday. And let's take a look at the numbers. We have 14 and six is 20. And that's 22 and 22 is a master number. It is the master builder. And so with the master builder, the master builder has the plans and has the vision and is in a position to be able to make it so because of his or her talents and abilities. And it's the application of that, um, of, of the knowledge to make it, uh, make it a reality. It's a wonderful master number, 22. So I hope that, um, gosh, I hope you have a great Saturday. I hope you found something helpful here today with this reading. And if you did, please subscribe, like, share, or comment. And join me tomorrow for another daily reading. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.